Hey everyone, how are you? Um, this is producer, writer, remixer, Mr. Mig. You might be familiar with some of my work. I've done remixes, I've uh, produced records, I've written records for many, many, many artists. If you're interested in uh, knowing who I've worked with and what records I've worked on, my website is www.mrmig.com, mrmig.com. Uh, my MySpace is www.myspace.com forward slash Mr. Mig Productions. All right, so um, I want to take this this time here and this uh, opportunity to kind of show anyone who's interested how to uh, put together a quick track in Logic Studio, or as it's called, uh, Logic Pro 8. All right, I'm going to open up an empty project. Right here, this little um, window that pops up asks you how many tracks you want to make and what kind of tracks you want to make. So I'm going to do five audio tracks. And I'm going to put them in stereo because I'm going to use them to drag and drop Apple loops. All right, so we're going to create that. And then after those are created, I'm going to go right here, <clears throat> excuse me, to this plus sign that's right above, right over here. And that's going to allow me to um, create more tracks again. But this time I'm going to do five stereo software instrument tracks. Okay, so we're going to open those up. All right, so real fast, here's what we do. I go to track one, and um, basically before I actually, before I go to track one, I want to make sure that the tempo of the session is set where I would like to, um, you know, to the tempo of, of um, the track that I want to create. So right now it's at 120. I'm going to move it up just a little bit to 126. We'll do like a club groove. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to click on the media tab to the right, and that's going to open up the browser that has uh, loops, your library, and all your sounds. So I hit the loops tab, and I'm going to go to beats, and I'm also going to go to uh, electronic. And now I'm going to scroll down until I find a beat that I like. I've been through, uh, you know, a lot of these, so... I kind of know where I'm going to go right now is to the club dance beat section, which has, you know, 50 to 100 different uh, dance beats that are already in Logic. So let me just test a few of these out. All right, I like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this loop in, and we're going to start with this loop to uh, bar number one. Just drag and drop. Now, I like certain elements of this, and I'm going to cut out the rest of the sample. I'm going to keep the first two beats. So I drag, I drag this, um, this line, this bar, position bar, over to beat number uh, two. All right, and then I go to split by playhead, which is this, this um, option at the top here, at the top of your arrange window. Split by playhead. And I click that. I grab the second half that I don't want. Command X gets rid of it. Click on the first half. Hit Command C, Command V. Now I have a new loop. Let me hear what that sounds like. I like that. That's pretty cool. Grab that. Hit Command R. And this is the repeat function. I'm going to repeat this 10 times. So now that loop will go um, 10 times. All right, you get it? Cool. Next, um, I'm going to go down to instrument one, and I'm going to open up uh, a drum instrument. I'm going to hit setting, which is to the left side of your screen, underneath where it says INST1, and there's an arrow. Make sure that the arrow is pointing to the right and not down, or you won't see that option. So underneath INST1, which is on the left side of your screen, in the track, uh, the channel uh, strip, channel strip, excuse me, there's a setting button, and you hold it down. Hold it down, go down to drums and percussion, go to Ultra Beat Drum Kits, because that's where I'm going to find the drums that I want to use. And I use something called a uh, Paris House Remix Kit. So I'll click on that, <clears throat> and that opens up. Now I'm going to make sure that the uh, sounds correspond to my keyboard. Let me change the octave on this. All right, 
on this little keyboard that I have here, it only has 25 keys, I had to change the octave to find this kick drum. So there's a kick, and there's like a snare clap. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the beginning of this template, I'm going to hit record, and I'm going to work with the kick first. Good, that's done. I'm going to make sure that's quantized correctly for this, and I'm going to use 1 16th to keep it nice and tight. Play back. Cool. Good. Now I'm going to uh, hit Command R, and I'm going to copy that 10 times. I'm now going to use the same kit but on a different track, so I'm going to go to the top of where um, my cursor is right now, right in the middle where it says Global Tracks, and there's a plus sign, and there's another option next to that, and um, I'm going to hit the plus sign. Actually, I'm sorry. Let's go back there. Not the plus sign, but the option next to it. It's a new track with duplicate setting. I'm going to hit that button, which is next to the plus sign, to the right of it. So now I'm going to add in this clap. So here we go. Hit record. Two, three, four. All right, so we got that. Let's quantize that to 1 16th. 1 16th is always a good place to start when you're quantizing. All right, let me um, command R this, which is repeat 10 times. So we have that. Now that I've done a little bit of work here, I want to save. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save as. I'm going to find a location. For me, it's desktop, logic projects. I'm going to create a new folder, at the, which is the option at the bottom of this, uh, this box. And I'm going to put logic tutorial one as my folder name and I'm also going to go to save as and the name of the actual file is the same thing logic tutorial one save into that folder we're good to go so now we're saved every few minutes you should always hit command s it's going to save all it'll save just really fast hit command s and it saves um, all right now let me go to instrument uh, my next open instrument channel Instrument 2, you should have. <clears throat> and go to the setting tab on the left side of your screen. Setting is under INST2. Hold down that box. Let's go to uh, bass. Let's go to synth bass. And let's open up. There's a bass here called analog deep bass. I don't know if that's the one, but let's see. Alright, it's pretty good. We're just going to do a straight pattern, nothing fancy. This is just for tutorial purposes. We're not making like, you know, the hit smash record right now. All right, so, you know, we're making a little club demonstration here. I'm going to quantize that real fast to 1 16th. Once again, it's just a good starting point. All right, Command R, repeat that 10 times. You can always change uh, how long you want the track to be later, obviously, but I always try to give myself, you know, 10 to 20 bars of a repeat just so I have stuff to work with as I'm moving through. All right, so now I'm going to hit play, and that bass is locked in. Cool. Now I'm going to Command S that, which is save. All right, well... You take care, guys. Enjoy, and I'll be back with some more videos real soon.